Hello, my soccer universe, to the second part of introducing every team. And now, after I poured all my hate over the 12 teams in the league, and if you haven't seen the video, the link is up here. Had fun doing that. Let's see if I have as much fun uh, paying my respects to all these teams, because I do have also respect for most of these. So I think this will give you then a more complete picture than of me putting all the hate out there. Let's give them all some love. I think they deserve it too. Austria Klagenfurt, I actually respect you because you really have the most beautiful stadium in Austria and I think uh, it is good that uh, Carinthia in the capital has a team, not in the village. And you have been working hard on that. You started in the amateur leagues and you now made it up there. And for that, I do respect you. Admira Vaka, I actually respect you because the dead live longer. You have been counted out for dead and buried as uh, for ages. Yes, you had a few small periods of success in there, but most of the time everyone said, this is not a team that should be surviving. However, what you do have is a great youth system that has put out quite a few good players and for that you deserve all the respect. Also that uh, despite having even more glorious past, uh, you also already have built some sort of a history uh, that also needs to be respected there and in a way a league without Admira does also not seem quite right. And I respect you because the away games at your ground were always the most pleasant ones have the best memories there. Yeah, we always won. Well, Art Dhaka, first of all, respect you because you have the same colors as Lask with black and white, although a slightly different layout. So that's the first thing. Also, I would respect you that you are rep representing for Alberg. Maybe it would be better to have a team in the capital, Bregenz, but you made it and you did it and you did a good job. You actually also have some forays into Europe. And in many ways, you have been more successful than any other team from Vorarlberg that I can remember. And for that, bravo. And you have a pretty nice stadium now to boot as well. I think we'll see more seasons with you. Reed, please take note. This comes from a Lask fan, but um, despite you being the small team of the Upper Austrian rivalry, I that most Lask fans would say, yeah, you have no right to be here in many ways, see my hate video. I do have to say I have enormous respect. You came up in the early 90s. You were a nobody team. You've never been in professional ranks, but over two sustained periods, you built quite a successful tribe up there and you actually deserve meanwhile to be in the Bundesliga to the point that uh, ever since I'm a soccer fan a league without a read seems actually weird and what's even more uh, that you have actually supplied us with probably the best coach in our recent history so yes thank you I have a loads of respect for that for you. Uh, you have built something and the biggest respect, the way you got your stadium, I mean, milk in the right power positions at the right time and Lask was in big disarray. Kudos to you. You've done well. Well, Austria Wien, I hugely respect your and um, give credit to the history and what you have given to the Austrian game. Uh, up until recently, let's say the rise of the Red Bull Empire, you have been, and now I know that your rival will not hear that, but uh, as long as I've been there, you have been the team. And the contribution that you've done, not only to the Austrian game, but the Austrian national team, cannot be overstated. You are one of the most storied French, uh, franchises and <laughs> storied teams in Austria. And for that, you deserve all the respect. Your museum, together with that of your rival, is actually a museum of Austrian soccer history. 
and is actually something that everyone should watch. I wish you had a better ground. You have a great ground, don't get wrong, but a better location for that. But I have to say, I also have loads, loads of respect because you have been the last team to not to be a champion of Austria that was not from Salzburg. And that was a pretty big achievement, I gotta say. So yeah, and uh, lastly, respect. I always feel that in many ways, Lask and Austria, there is a certain connection there that I cannot put down, but it actually works. Hartberg. First of all, loads of respect for actually having a woman as a president who is actually putting, uh, enriching the league in many, many ways with her open way of dealing things. Also, loads of respect, like for Reed. Yes, we always bemoan the village teams. However, one needs to say, uh, for a village team, you're doing really, really, really well and you have been actually quite successful. Now, I'm curious how you, how you will do this season replacing Shop. But from what I've seen already in the first round, it doesn't seem all that bad. You've done a great job. Yes, it might be tough for you to stretch yourself, but meanwhile, you have established yourself in the Bundesliga. More seasons to come. Wattens or WSG Tirol. Yes, I do have some respect to you because you actually are showing that with some good work and um, how to say, reasonable usage of funds. Yes, you got bankrupt by Swarovski a little bit, but you never got spent more than you could. That football or soccer in Tirol can actually work. And that's a, pro a state that definitely needs professional soccer more than any other. For that, I do respect you. I also like you very much because of your sparkly numbers kind of that you had when you were still uh, bankrolled by Swarovski, which I thought was very, very, very fitting. And yeah, you have been a thorn in many big sides this past season. And for that, you also deserve some respect. Now, if you can build uh, your own stadium, that would actually be icing on the cake. And maybe we can have a Tyrolean Derby again. I think that would be really, really good. Wolfsburg, like with all the village teams, the respect has been given to you. I mean, uh, we always bemoan that there are so many village teams in the Austrian Bundesliga. However, the, well, they are working well. They are putting the finances where it's well done. They build teams. They are not uh, buoyed by uh, big signings and whatever. No, you are more for team building and you build it from the ground, uh, ground up and do it uh, fiscally uh, in a responsible way. For that, you deserve a lot of credit. You also deserve a lot of respect for really representing Austria very well these past years in Europe, even making it out of the group stage last season. That's a big achievement for uh, such a small club. I also respect you that you even did well uh, without playing in your home stadium, first playing in Graz and then playing in Klagenfurt. Really big credits to you. You have been in many ways, one of the brighter lights in the Austrian leagues. I also respect you for actually choosing, like Lusk, a style that shows the Viennese teams that the way they are there that they're playing is the wrong one. Huge respects to you, Wolfsburg, for that. First of all, I really respect your very vocal, however, hardly ever, at least when you come here, violent fan base in many ways. Uh, that I have a big respects. Big respects, you are black and white brothers, although I'm not sure if our fan clubs really like each other all that much. Um, but I have to say that your fan base is probably, yeah, hard to say, but I feel that you guys are the second best in Austria. Given uh, the amount of fan clubs that you have, it's always a great atmosphere at Sturm Graz. Also, huge respects for the Osim era, era uh, where you actually represent Austria very well. Also, the way you actually got a championship then after that era, really, really good. You are punching above your weight in many ways, but you have established yourself in as one of the top four teams in Austria at the moment ahead of one of the big teams from Vienna. For that, huge credit. I hope you'll get the stadium for your just, just for yourself. 
I think you will deserve it. Oh, Rapid, yes, I love to hate you the most, but I, as with Austria Vienna, your history is the history of Austrian soccer. For that, you deserve all the respect in this world. I also, despite your fans causing low, uh, sometimes trouble, I have to say that your support is easily the best in Austria. I would even go so far that if someone wants to visit an Austrian Bundesliga game, going into your stadium, and you have a beautiful new stadium, is probably the one to go to. Because there you definitely guarantee the specta a spectacle. I also have to give you respect for um, you barely had any bad seasons. For that, you I have to give you a big respect. Yes, we want to forget about the Lothar Matthäus episode, but other, other than that, big respect for that for always being a top team in Austria most of the time, I would say. And you moved the needle. You definitely moved the needle and for that you deserve respect, but it's mostly down to your history. And you have something very unique in the last quarter hour, the Rapid Viertelstunde. The quarter hour of Rapid from minute 75 on. That is something. And also respect, although it was not under the most savory circumstances. You know a team that are German champions. Although I do claim Lask should be Dutch champions for 2019. Oh, Salzburg, there's so much to despise about you. However, the biggest respect I can give to you is that, yes, Dudelange is the butt of jokes. However, from that moment on, you built something great. You have one of the most identifiable styles, not only in the Austrian leagues, but in Europe. You... And for that, I have to also give you respect. You showed the way forward that now teams like Lusk and Wolfsburg actually kind of uh, also copy a little bit your style, maybe not to the same degree. I also have to give you uh, big props for your scouting network and the way you build teams. And that so many Austrian national team players have gone through your academy. Now, if you could have a national coach that actually can harness it. We saw a teeny bit at the Euros. We could have a great national team and that is thanks to your great work that you had the foresight to hire Ralf Rangnick to actually build something bigger. And for that you deserve loads of respect. Also loads of respect for really representing Austria very well. Your spot in the Champions League that you earned in 1920 was the most hard earned spot in history because you did it the hard way by just raising the coefficient almost by yourself of the entire league. Loads of respect. Well, Lusk, you know you're my favorite team and I will always support you. And while we could go down to history, I think the biggest respect that I have for you is that you are so far the only team whose team name was not marred by a sponsor. And for that alone, you deserve being there. Also being the first champion not from Vienna is also a big factor and that belongs there. I would have, I hope that the future is bright. I have to give the current administration loads of respect of getting Lask really out of the doldrums where you thought the team finally is dead. Because let's face it, ever since I was a fan, there were at least three if not four periods where the team was more or less dead. You took it, you built a model, and for that you deserve a lot of respect that got us into Europe and up to Old Trafford. That was a great story. That you messed it up then a little bit later, I hope, was just a blip along the way and you get now steady again. Well, I hope this was enlightening to you. As I said, I can find hate, I can find love for every team. Let me know uh, what you thought about this. Drop a line, line below how you enjoyed these videos. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you did so. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos on the Austrian Bundesliga and my jerseys and all the other uh, seven leagues that I'm covering, Champions League including and so on. And if you want to hear just my general take on soccer in general. With that, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!